So a few weeks ago we took a trip into the city uh, to visit the Lego store with a, with a couple of good friends of ours. The kids had some Christmas money that they wanted to spend and our good friend was getting himself a present for his birthday as well. The kids had a blast. And I hadn't planned on getting myself anything at all. I was just happy for a day out with the family and friends. When did Lego start doing Harry Potter art? I had no idea. Are these new? So I hadn't planned on getting anything until I saw these. Harry Potter Lego art. You buy one kit, it is 40 by 40 centimetres and from the one kit you can choose which house you want to do. So they've got the Gryffindor one, takes up the box and then you've got your Slytherin, your Hufflepuff and your Ravenclaw here. And of course I have to do the Hufflepuff one without a doubt. It has 4,249 pieces. Right, let's open this. So this is our instruction book. <laughs> so there are the four choices that you can do. I, of course, I'm going to do the Hufflepuff. I think they look pretty good. So this is like a close up view of the Gryffindor one. It, you can see that the lion has got some nice shading there around his mane and, and his legs. And you can see the, uh, and it has the sort of Gryffindor. And the next one you can see is the Slytherin one. It's got some shading around the snake and it's got the, the Slytherin locket, uh, the Hufflepuff one. It's got some nice shading as well and it's got the the goblet of Helga Hufflepuff and then the Ravenclaw one. I think that looks that looks pretty good as well and it's got the Ravenclaw's diadem up there in its banner. I think the Gryffindor one is probably the nicest, one of the nicer designs out of the different ones. But can you see how with them all they so the Gryffindor one has this like gold feature striping the Slytherin and the Ravenclaw one have the silver striping but because they've got the gold striping here in the Hufflepuff one it just totally disappears a bit into into the the, the, the background color of the top element whereas the other ones don't I wish that they had changed the color of the the yellow the Hufflepuff yellow should be a, shouldn't be the same color as the gold stripes. It should be slightly different so that those two blocks don't blend into each other. See how these three, you've got your four different sections and they're quite nicely divided, whereas the Hufflepuff one kind of just merges in. So I might change something there. I'll have to wait and see. It's got like a little summary of the four different houses. It's got an exclusive soundtrack that you can listen to while you build. So you work on one section like this at a time and it's divided and that so they're telling you you're going to work on this section first. Three rows of three blocks and then I guess they get joined together and framed. So I'm going to flick to the Hufflepuff one. All right. 
Let's go Hufflepuff! Okay, so we've got our different colours here of all of our different uh, little studs. Uh, a bit of a toolkit, it looks like with some spares, some spare colours and your the, the little lifter which you can remove some of the studs with if you put them down in the wrong spot. Our frame, the frame components and this must be our base plates. Okay, All right, step one is uh, with one base plate Add three of the little side connectors. Here is my first section guide. And it is really similar to a diamond painting in with what you are used to. Uh, it has your little your colour guide here with your numbers of what studs go on which sections, and we can just plug through it. Let's give this a go. There we go, that is panel number one done. <laughs> I have to say that's only number one out of number nine and my little finger is so sore. <laughs> I'm trying to rotate the fingers that I use to push them on uh, just so that I, I don't get such a sore finger. But this is really fun, I'm loving it. I should probably save a couple of panels for the kids to do. Number two is all done. All right, let's start panel number three. I have finished all of the nine squares. So they 
I will just place them out so I can get an idea of how they're going to look. All right. So they're going to be something like that. And then we just get these little guys, little pegs, and they go in between to join them up. entirely sure how I feel about the gold just blending in to the color above I could change these stripes down here to silver because I've got heaps of the silver studs left over but then I feel like maybe it wouldn't be as colorful maybe maybe I could change take the gold and put the gold here on this side and then make these stripes so we've got gold gold silver silver mm. I'll have to have a think about that. All right, what do I do next? All of the outside edges of the blocks. Right, where are they? pieces are joined together and now I am just assembling the frame. The edge at the moment has still got like that bubbly Lego edge and now, now I put on the smooth pieces so that it's got like a smooth edge frame. It's got two, two frame hanger hooks. Okay, now there's just one thing left to do. Dun, dun, dun. That is awesome. That is so cool. I love it. You can see here they've left like a little Lego feature, a couple of studs looking upwards in each corner, which I think is so cool. Alright, so, okay people, what does everybody think about the way that the gold here blends into the gold behind the goblet? I think I'm going to swap these out I've still got a lot of silver left here and I've got them ready I'm going to swap these out for silver and tell me what you think okay the the kit comes with this little gadget like a little little crowbar so that we can do this oh gosh it went flying And the good thing is that the frame, it doesn't come up and over them. It just ends neatly. So it's just as easy to remove some of the ones along the edge here, even once the frame is finished. All right, I have to do that with my wand. Did you see the wand? Alice and I made these out of chopsticks and a glue and a hot glue gun. Isn't it cool? I think it's so cool. Accio silver. Okay, what do you think now? Should it be gold stripes or silver stripes? I kind of like the silver. I just think with the three colors here, I think it looks good. I'll leave it at that for a while. And the good thing is it's actually really easy to change. You don't have to take the frame off or make any adjustments to the frame at all to change the studs out and to make adjustments. So if you decide that you are uh, slightly more Slytherin than Hufflepuff, then you can just use your little crowbar and, uh, and, and make the changes. 
So I just wanted to jump in and share something else that I've just discovered. One of the Lego designers has come up with um, a few other alternate designs that you can download for free off the Lego website. So these are the extra designs that you can make using the studs in any of the kits. So there's uh, Hedwig, uh, with Harry Potter's Owl, there's the Golden Snitch and there's the platform nine and three quarters sign. And I just, I think these are really lovely. I am keen to, to uh, you know, to swap it out for one of these designs uh, in a couple of months when I um, want something to do for an afternoon. So that's just something else that I thought was really cool. And uh, the other thing that I've just learned is that if you buy four of these kits, there is another alternate design that you can do uh, with the studs from all four. So this is the full Hogwarts emblem uh, that you can make by joining four kits together. So you download this pattern off the website as well. And so instead of it being 40 by 40, this is using four kits. And so it is uh, a big 80 by 80 uh, artwork. So that is it for today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I am going to leave my uh, Hufflepuff emblem just here on my... Uh, display shelves next to my book collection and my little set of Harry Potter cube posket dolls that I have got here and I think it looks great. It's a fantastic kit. I really love it. Uh, it's um, something that you can do easily just in a couple of hours. It's not a big time kind of consuming um, kind of kit. Uh, it is quite simple and easy to do so that is it for today thanks so much for stopping by if you have any questions at all write them down in the comments i read every single one and i will help you out if at all i can and i will see you next time bye